So how do you like being here in my backyard? You like that's pretty cool, huh? And I'm digging it. I think this is gonna be a pretty good team. I think we're gonna make a really great team. I really do. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and I'm gonna take really good care of you and I'm not gonna leave you out in the rain and I'm not gonna let you like get dirty or anything and protect you from the elements and I'm not gonna yell at you when you don't work, I promise. And so I think we're gonna get along really well. Oh my God, will it ever stop raining? Hey everyone, this is Steve with Entering Into Space. I think I posted the other day on Facebook that it was raining more than the Matrix 3 fight scene movie. Wait, movie, fight scene. What's new? The grass is green. And I have been working on one project for a month. And that is a up close and personal M17 Omega Nebula in HOO bicolor hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, with maybe some RGB stars if I'm lucky enough. You don't want to hear all this crap. You just want to know about my new uh, telescope mount, the Skywatcher EQR6. So when I thought about doing a video on the EQR6, I thought, man, you know, I'm going to tell everybody about it. I realized all of you guys have one, except for like three of you guys. So for the three of you guys, here's a video on the EQR6. All right, so what came in the box? A whole bunch of stuff. And I can tell you right now, I have used it, I have shot with it, and so far, love it. Love it. Why did I get it? Did I really intend on buying a Skywatcher EQR6 for $1,595 from High Point Scientific? Did I? No, I did not. What I tried to do was do a hypertune on the Orion Atlas. And you know how well that turned out? I didn't. Uh, my guiding went from 0.8 to 8. Yeah, that's right. 5 plus 3, 8. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, and so one Saturday night, out of sheer desperation, what did I do? I just, it was like fate. It was just like the, with the scope, you know? I went on to High Point Scientific's website and uh, there it was in stock and on sale or for sale, in stock. So I just bought it, 2 a.m. Impulse purchase. All this. Anyway, what did it come with? It does not come with a 12 volt power cord. You need to know that, because I had to buy that extra. Uh, so what it did come with was a cigarette lighter plug. Come on, people. I don't use cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter plugs anymore. Are you kidding me? Anyway, 
So it, it's pretty nice because you do have this nice little thumb screw uh, power, 12 volt power connector, but I had to order that separate. So what else did it not come with? <laughs> it didn't come with how to actually, it came with a hand controller, but you know what? I ditched that because I'm using the ASI Air Pro. Ding! And what it didn't come with was a connection cable. But guess what? I already had one. So this little, this little guy right here, it's uh, one of these cables that you use for your printer. <laughs> Just plug it in, choose uh, EQ mod mount, and away she went. Started operating, no hand controller, not even out here. What I don't have to do anymore with this one that I did have to do with the Atlas was every time I'd fired up the Atlas, I had to put the date and the time and yeah, and military time and hit a whole bunch of buttons and then go to PC Direct and hit that and then everything worked fine. Don't have to do that anymore. Awesome. So let's talk about these old ads builds. Uh, they are really nice and really easy to get a hold of. I mean, look at this. I mean, the only suggestion I would make would maybe uh, make them out of fine thread because when you're polar aligning at 1600 millimeters, man, you can blow by your polar alignment in a heartbeat, just a in your in your sad faces. Like this, with ASI Air Pro, it'll be like this. Anyway, uh, and then I guess the other problem is the alt bolt, this back one here. It's got a pretty cool design where it's spring loaded. And so it allows you to have a multitude of options here for leverage. So you can't, you know, with it fixed, you would be stuck up like this, stuck up, <laughs> so stuck up. Uh, you would be stuck up in a position like this. It's kind of hard to work. So you can always kind of get it in one of these fashions here. And I guess this strips out. But what Skywatcher did, at least for moi, was they included an extra uh, 3 8 bolt here with the same kind of handle to replace the, this when it does strip out. So honestly, I really don't know what else to say about the mount itself. I mean, it's so close to the Atlas that it was really pretty easy just to make the switch. I mean, it's not like I had to learn the hand controller because that's no more. Everything else felt really familiar. Counterweights are all the same. Um, with this much weight, I did have to add on the extension bar to, uh, get, to get balance. Um, but then adding in everything else, I found these nice little uh, cord snaky thingies uh, on Amazon to kind of tighten up my cable management. Uh, but uh, when it gets darker here, we'll slew over to the Omega Nebula and uh, we'll see what the guiding's like. But the guiding right now for me uh, has been um, 0.4, 0.5 average. So we're really impressed and uh, haven't had to lose as many subs as I was with the Atlas. Sorry, Orion. I mean, it's been a great mount, it really has. Sorry I screwed it up. Didn't kind of screw it up, I think I fixed it. And I think I'm gonna use it for some wide field stuff. Yeah. So the Skywatcher EQR6 Pro. It's a badass mount for an affordable price. And uh, now I know why when I'm scrolling around, I see everybody else using the same thing because it uh, it's a great mount. So let's let it, oh God, seriously? Like who done? Okay, so let's let it get dark. And uh, let's slew over here, we'll check some. They're just messing with me now. They're like, so we got blue skies. We don't have a hurricane. We don't have a monsoon. We did have a hurricane. Hurricane something or another. We get so many, I lose count. Anyway, but I got green grass now. Anyway, let's let it, uh, let's let it get dark and we'll slew over to the Omega Nebula and we'll check out some guiding and see how well it does. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, so we have polar aligned in the mosquitoes. Yes, they were awful. And I'm here on the patio, so sorry. So uh, now I'm still pitched over. So what do I wanna do? I wanna go back in here to my mount and I wanna and move my mount to the home position. 
Okay, so let's go back over here to our preview tab. And we'll hit our little tab out here. And M17 is already in there, but we can go to the search file. And we can say M17 and go to. So we're going to slew to it. I've already checked my focus, obviously, because I polar aligned. One trouble or one little problem that I had the other night was um, something I may have to change is I auto focused. I'm auto focusing every two hours, and so I must have landed on a cloud patch, and so it just did the best it could, which was way out of focus, and then it just kept shooting. So I lost about 30 or 40 subs because they were out of focus. And this thing holds focus so well, I may not do that. I may just. Uh, do it right off the bat and do it on a meridian flip and that's it. So I've got the luminance filter, that's what it's shooting. Man, it detected 1200 stars. Very nice, very nice. And it is uh, centering, solving, 900 stars. It's pretty low in the south, uh, southeast right now. So perhaps it's having a little struggle solving even though it detected 909 stars all right so it's probably a pretty good thing to show you so we're a hundred and something seconds in and it's if you look at the uh, target coordinates i'm pointing at it <laughs> but if you look at the target coordinates in gray and the current coordinates i'm really close like i'm super close so i think what i'm going to do is hit cancel on that hit go to and recycle that plate solve I feel like I've had to do this before and it actually goes yep yep we're good target center so hey it's good that you got to see that what to do okay so let's go over here to uh, we're gonna see an image pop up here Ooh, well, I'm pointing at it again. <laughs> um, yeah, but we can see a little, the central core of the Omega Nebula there and just that little three second loop. So let's go over here to guide, hit the guide button, tap on the big guide box. And we're gonna hit the little arrow chasing its tail here. Very nice, very nice, got some good stars. All right, so we're just gonna hit calibrate. And uh, let's see what the old EQR6 can do tonight. Uh, I got it on a two second loop. Let's push that down to one second. Let's see if we can get a little more contrast. That might not, that might be, eh, I think it's okay. Yeah, because right now my skies are like Bortle 6, Bortle 7, so north, Bortle 6, south, Bortle, eh. Yeah. All right, so while that's uh, calibrating, Set the double arrow there. And we're gonna go hit preview. And we're gonna hit auto run. And tap the three bars. So I was shooting, last thing I shot was some darks. So let's cancel that. Let's just close it out, hit the X button, delete it. We're gonna start a new one here. It's gonna be lights. We're shooting four minute subs. So we can just tap that little square. And I can use my little uh, keyboard back up 240 seconds four minutes the filter is going to be oxygen and I'm going to hit the square button here and back that up and I think I'm going to shoot 30 we'll click OK and here's uh, one of the things that I wish this thing would tell me is you know basically the Omega Nebula is going to be like hitting my house around 4 30 in the morning, somewhere in there. So I wish it would tell me that when I entered 244 minute subs in, or excuse me, 34 minute subs in. Uh, it just says estimated time. So if the time now is 9.30, it says two hours, so about 11 o'clock. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is hit the plus button. Uh, Change my time from 300 seconds to 240 seconds. Change the filter to hydrogen. 
and I'm going to shoot 40 of those. So basically all I can do is come in here now, it's saying 4 hours and 42 minutes. So now you got to do like middle math. Ba, da, da, ba, da, da, ba. I don't know. I don't know what that is right off the bat. You know? Um, so I'm going to back back out of that. And look at that, 0.42. Woo 0.42. I'm sorry this light's so horrible. I'm going to get a light, I swear, I promise. Uh, yeah. Man, she's guiding good. Alright, well, sorry for the orange. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. You know, just think of it as a sunset. Uh, and also, stay tuned to the end of this video. Because uh, hopefully I'll have a kick-ass image to show you guys. And until then, clear skies and clear minds.